live on the other side of uh, Anderson off of 82nd Street, so of course, uh, being a little concerned there, uh, we, uh, my family and I, we uh, took what we thought we could uh, get a hold of, uh, family pictures and important papers, and uh, uh, loaded up, uh, I got a travel trailer, loaded that up on my pickup, and uh, thought if the house goes, at least I got something to stay in, and uh, took it, parked, and uh, come back and, uh, you know, waited out and watched and uh, seen what else was uh, developing. Was it frustrating to go, I mean, to go through this again today? It's nerve-wracking, very nerve-wracking, uh, because, uh, you know, you think, uh, of course, uh, the firemen, they're doing all they can and, and, and everything, so, uh, uh, you know, you think it's it's out and contained, and then uh, all of a sudden it, it uh, flares up again. Right, we had a couple, about uh, four extensive flare-ups, largest at this location today from uh, our fire earlier yesterday. Uh, we, it looks like we've lost maybe a couple of uh, storage buildings, sheds, stuff like that, structures. Uh, but, uh, you know, we've had one, one firefighter injury out here today. A uh, guy got shot by an electrical line. Uh, he's been taken to the hospital for evaluation. Other than that, uh, we're able to, it uh, looks like we got a control on this fire right now, and we're trying to just mop up a few hot spots. We'll be, we'll be out here all night.